Okay, hello once again. So this is the last part of our balancing redox reactions video. So in the first one, I solved a neutral solution. And the second one, I solved an acidic solution. In this, uh, in this video, I'm going to solve a basic solution. So uh, just to give you a comparison on the, on the difference in the last few steps when it's a basic solution. So as I said also in the last video, unless otherwise specified, you have to assume that all reactions are basic. Okay. So my example is just uh, very simple. At one glance, you can see it's uh, mixing so silver with zinc to uh, give a product of uh, silver oxide and zinc. So just to review, let's just get my pen tool. Okay, so just to review, uh, the S stands for solid. And then this means this is aqueous. When it's aqueous, it means it, it is watery like. So it's not liquid as in liquid water. It's uh, the consistency is different. So first step in our redox balancing, we have to divide it into two half reactions. So our first half reaction is silver to silver oxide, okay? And our second half reaction will be zinc to zinc, okay? So let's check again. Make sure that you always uh, do your checking because uh, a little miss on the subscript or on an element would actually uh, make your solution wrong and eventually you won't be able to get uh, the correct answer in the end. So I'll just it doesn't uh, It doesn't take a lot to check every now and then. So this is solid. So there you go So besides in this uh, example, this is actually very simple. So uh, You just there's really not a long time to be able to check the given so the second reaction is zinc and of course so for now, let's leave this here. I don't think we will be really manipulating the second half reaction because as you can see, let's start with the first step after doing the half reaction method or after splitting it into two half reactions. Uh, count the number of non-oxygen and the non-hydrogen atoms. So of course here it's a zinc. You only have one zinc here, one zinc here. So that's good, nothing there. But here for silver, we also have how many silvers do we have? This is two. Only have one here, so we have to add two. Okay. Then I'm still focusing here because it's the one with oxygen. So it, uh, it does have an oxygen on the right side, which means I have to add water molecules so as to compensate with the presence of oxygen here. So let's add water to. Kg. Okay, plus how many what uh, oxygens you have here? Only one. So one water will be enough. One water molecule. Oops, sorry. Oh, I'm pressing my. Okay. There you go. Next, since we added a uh, water molecule. Uh, your reaction now has a hydrogen in it. So we have to also address that. So that's two hydrogens. We don't have any hydrogen here. So let's add hydrogen. By the way, water when added is liquid. Let's make that complete. So this is two and then this is aqueous and of course we will add what we will add two hydrogen protons okay so let's check again if it's balanced so that's two silvers one oxygen hydrogen two hydrogen two it's a check let's move it okay let's do that here 
I'll just rewrite it. That's, um, what was it? I have two silvers, right? Uh, and then I also have water. And then I also have, let's go back. It's just silver and water. Yes. And then the yield was uh, your silver oxide. And then I had, let's check again. Yes, there you go. And uh, when you're adding, uh, these are usually aqueous. I'll just move myself here. Okay, let me rewrite also the other half reaction because we just left it out. So that's uh, zinc. Yields uh, zinc, which is solid. Okay. What's next? We're done with balancing the elements. So the next step in our balancing redox uh, guidelines will be to balance the charges. So this is neutral in this side of the equation. But this has, I can see something positive here. So this is neutral. This is positive 2. So it's safe to say that we have to add 2 electrons. Uh, also on the reactant or the uh, reducing part or the reduction part or the reduction equation. This is positive 2. This is neutral. So we have to add here. I think you're very familiar with this because we already had two videos that for you to be able to check yourself, am I doing it right? Uh, for example, on the oxidation reaction, your E's are on the right side it follows that on the reduction equation, your E's will be on the left side, okay? One of our favorites will be to cancel and then add, just add the reactions. So that's 2 AG plus water plus zinc yields what? Uh, silver oxide, your two H protons, and your zinc. Okay. Now, this is the extra step that we're doing when it's a basic solution. Because at the result, you don't do this for an acidic solution. You just retain your hydrogen uh, protons. In this case, you have to uh, remove them. Okay, so we, I can still see hydrogen protons here. So it says that for every hydrogen proton, you have to give an OH, you have to add an OH. So we have two. And adding the OH won't be on one side only. You have to add it on both sides. So let's do that. So it's two. Is it okay if I remove the um, type of substance so as to save space? plus H2O plus plus, as I've said, add OH. And then this is plus 2H positive plus zinc plus 2OH negative. There. Now, the purpose of the OH is actually to combine it with the remaining hydrogen protons to form water. So, let's rewrite this. We're not forming any water in this side because you don't have anything left as hydrogen protons alone. But on the other side of the reaction, there is, there are remaining hydrogen protons. So, those two will be combined with the 2OH uh, substance here. So that becomes what? Uh, it becomes zinc plus H2O. That becomes two water molecules. Okay? 
And finally, there's water here and there's water there. You can actually cancel it, leaving you with one water molecule. So our final answer is this one. Yields what? Okay. So is that our final answer? Well, we can check. Uh, remember how we were checking it previously? We were checking uh, using our uh, checking of elements, like elements present and charge. So I'll just, uh, can I capture that, our final answer? So that uh, let's do the checking on, an, on a new slide. I think I have one more slide there. There you go. Perfect. So I'm just writing it. So our final answer is 2. Oops. I keep on pressing that. 2 AG plus zinc. 2 positive plus 2. That's not 20 H, huh? That's 2 OH negative. And then silver oxide plus zinc plus H. O. Okay, let's check. First, let's list the elements in the given reaction. We have silver, we have zinc, we have oxygen, we have hydrogen. And then we have our reactant, we have our product side. Okay, <laughs> sorry for that. Okay, so how many silvers do we see? One, two. One, two. Okay, let's check. Okay, the next one, zinc. We have one zinc here. How many zincs there? One. And then oxygen, we have two. How many ox oxygens do you see here? One, two. And finally, hydrogen, two. How many hydrogens do you see here? Two. Okay, so for element lists or listing of elements, they're both balanced. Now, finally, the charge. So this is a 2 positive, this is a 2 negative, it means the whole thing is neutral. You can also see here that the whole thing doesn't have any charge at all. No oxidation numbers there. So four charges both are neutral and then this is also neutral. So that's it. So uh, just to like sum up everything, uh, in doing balancing redox reactions, just follow the steps. Okay, what are the steps again? First step, uh, using half reaction method, of course. The first step is to divide the whole reaction into two, two half reactions. The two half reactions will be your oxidation and the other one will be your reduction. After knowing that, balance those equations in this order. First, non-oxygen and non-hydrogen elements. Balance oxygen. In the absence of oxygen, and when you need oxygen in one side of the reaction, you have to add water. Third, balance hydrogen. So in the absence of hydrogen, you have to add hydrogen protons. And then after balancing the elements, you balance the charges by adding electrons. After doing that, just add all uh, parts of the reaction to get one whole reaction. It means combine the two half reactions already. But if it's a basic solution, you inspect the last part, if there are remaining hydrogen protons, and for every hydrogen proton, you have to add additional OH ions. So there, and then afterwards, you do the last step, which is checking of elements. For you to be able to uh, say that your reaction is balanced, all the elements, like in this case, should be the same in both reactant and product side. And of course, the charge should also be the same. Otherwise, it is not a balanced reaction, okay? Hopefully, you, uh, uh, you got to see um, and understand how to balance uh, equations. So, if there should be, again, questions regarding the video, you can uh, use our discussion board or group chats, or you can comment on the video when it's uploaded in YouTube, okay? 
you can also share this video to other classmates, other batchmates, so that uh, at least they can have extra examples aside from the modules that you have. Okay, so for now, that's it. Until our next uh, video, I hope uh, you were able to get uh, uh, the pointers on how to balance redox reaction. Okay, bye. Thank you.